Hi, how are you? This is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for the full moon that we have coming up on May 24th, 25th. Um, it's 10, maybe Central Time, or is it Eastern? I think that's Eastern Time, so that's why it's kind of 24th and 25th. But anyway, <laughs> um, so the energies right now. Okay, um, first off, let's talk about where we've been. For most people, things are really picking up and getting quicker. For one, quicker. Um, most people probably do not even have enough hours in the day to do everything they wanted to do. But um, there's a lot with, you know, first you spent so much time thinking about all these new things you wanted to do, and then you really tried to start pushing them out, but something was still really stopping you. And um, now, kind of now, now, now officially, is when things really start happening. Um, you're just going to find that it's going to be a lot more effortless to move, to make things happen, to make connections. Um, the only thing is a lot of people are still in that extreme frustrated state and it's, um, it's actually a really good thing so don't uh, label it bad but it's kind of like that thing of how it has to be as you shift into something that's actually kind of totally kick-ass amazing. So this frustration especially is really heavy duty for people. It's so like, fuck this! You know, like, I can't deal with this one more minute! You know, like there's a, a very cumulative, um, is that how you say that word? Um, <laughs> this is the lack of Gemini in me. I don't remember any words at all, and I don't remember, uh, how to say things <laughs> like what's one that people always laugh at me about there's a, actually there's probably a couple I say words funny um, but anyway I'm very simple if you haven't grasped that yet um, why am I talking about that so uh, oh okay so anyway um, um, there's this building this uh, uh, building angst and frustration um, from looking out at where you want to be but still being in this place right here and really being like I don't know what decision to make I don't know where to go I don't know what to do to make this happen so there's this uh, because it's almost like there's this fire that's pushing you pushing you to go forward but you don't know yet so it's really frustrating for a lot of people and one thing I can always say like that the directions are always clear for us um, it's never as complicated as we like to make it so if there isn't a decision that is clear to be made yet, it's just not the right time to make a decision. And uh, this is one of the biggest lessons we learn in being human, because we're always trying to go way before the time. We've been so programmed that we have to be working to attain these specific things. And a lot of life is just, you know, sit back and chill and waiting for something to happen. And like, whenever you can get to that perspective, perspective of honoring the weight, honoring that it's just time to chill and do nothing. Um, but I'll get a little more on that. So right now it is like, ah, uh, I want to be doing these things. And not everybody, because there's, you know, there's kind of some delayed um, manifestations occurring for people. But what I can tell you is that once you finally do have the gate open, um, once you are finally allowed into this new space, miracles are going to be happening out of the blue. Like everybody who I'm hearing who was like, ah, is is now like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> so like, miracles are on the way, you know, so if you're still in the place of, I don't know what to do, I don't feel good, uh, I'm not comfortable, like if you're still feeling that, just know, it's that thing where you don't know how close you are to these things coming in that are going to make you look back at this right now and, and not have an ounce of regret or you're actually you're gonna look back and beat up yourself by saying why didn't I just chill hasn't my life always worked out doesn't that always mean something when there's this extreme frustration don't I know this haven't I lived enough life you know we kind of keep coming back to these same points and going oh I wish I would have gotten it why didn't I get it of course obviously but it's almost like we have to move into that new space to finally look back and go you know that's life. It, it goes like that sometimes. It moves really slowly or it doesn't go where, in the direction you think it should go and 
you get so frustrated and control freaky. And that's funny because control um, is a big thing right now. Um, okay, so let's see. How do I want to get into this? First off, this is Gemini. So again, this is going to be a scattered energy. <laughs> and you can always know I'm going to completely reflect um, what's going on. So I will be like, uh, this and that and this and that and this and that. Um, I already do that anyway. But um, So Gemini is like lots of things, multiple things, um, an extreme like interest in everything that you are learning too. So whatever you are delving into is fascinating, you know? And um, so, uh, okay, so this whole year, um, I was kind of trying to think of like, because I found myself again wanting to tell you where we're at right now with this full moon coming up is trying to understand new perspectives of things in life. And I really kind of feel like everything about shifting into the new world energies and fully integrating the new world energies into our bodies and into uh, the world is that everything about it, it's not that big of a deal. It's just demanding that you take a new perspective on things everything we are just supposed to see in a different way it's the same as like looking back at everything that um, kind of like molded you in your childhood and you know maybe all you could see was how negative it was and how um, it did it kept you from doing this and da 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 and this and that and um, telling a story of these things being more in a negative way and changing your perspective to kind of like looking back at I mean, it goes for everything, so I'm just using this as an example, but looking back and just kind of seeing how it was perfect, how it was, and, you know, always kind of looking at things of, like, had that not happened, this other thing had not, wouldn't have happened. And um, I wanted to, you know, what's coming to me right now, I'm, there's so much, and I'm, like, seeing all these people's readings I've been doing, so I wanted to say something about that, too, is... Gosh, I, I feel really crazy scattered. And what's funny is I felt really crazy scattered doing this reading that I just did, too. Maybe I should have uh, <laughs> uh, kind of grounded the energies. Um, is that uh, whenever the birth chart is put together and interpreted, first off, everybody talks differently when they talk about... Um, when they interpret a birth chart. So whoever that person is, it's going to come through the lens of that person, you know. So one thing with me is because I don't have any of that Gemini, maybe that's why too I'm so scattered. Now I'm like needing an, a definition of why, but um, I don't have any Gemini. So I can't remember words. I can't remember any of the answers in a crossword puzzle. I've always thought of myself as kind of unintelligent because I cannot remember things. Trivial pursuit, not one thing. I'm just like, um, like you can just ask me right now, like what kind of cat food I buy. And I'll be like, um, I can show, I, I can tell you where it's at in the store, because I have a Virgo moon, so I can say, it. it's right there. If you go in, you take four steps, it's there. <laughs> oh, that other item, that's right up here. If you're standing, it's right there. <laughs> but I can't remember things. So, it's probably kind of interesting to think that I uh, work with astrology, because it's so many words that have to be memorized, but I can't memorize them. Um, which is why, for me... Um, explaining astrology is completely channeled and intuitively based because I cannot I don't I am not able to remember all the little details like that you should have seen me in school like I had to study a certain way I had to like take all the words the definitions I'd fold it over and it was just memorize 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 I'd go back and forth with them back and forth back and forth with them get in there ace the test you know four days later I won't remember any one of those things, <laughs> not even one thing. So what I'm getting at is when I do do astrology, and I don't know if it's because of my background, um, but I'm very much uh, into sexual abuse um, and, and things that happened in childhood that really kind of squashed you and squashed your self-confidence and really kind of squashed how you value yourself. So I really tune into, um, like I can name specific aspects that guarantee that you had this in your life. So 
to me that's so fascinating um, because it just kind of opens you to how everything is happening exactly how it should, right? Because how, sh how, why would those things be able to say that about my life when here I am, you know, in my 40s and like any time I could have had my chart done it would have said that same thing. Um, I don't know, it's fascinating to me and I think mostly because I see it in so many charts and mostly like almost every single person who does find me, I mean not all of them, it's rare that they're not, but they do come from these things that really kind of screwed them up, you know, and really kind of have them thinking that they don't deserve to be honored and loved and respected and have everything that the world can provide. So they keep this barrier up that actually keeps all these amazing things from coming. And um, right now we, especially even more so because this is a full moon, um, the moon's in Sagittarius, the sun's in Gemini. I probably said that wrong earlier. I do often. Um, but so we're wanting to gain a new perspective on things so that it does bring this kind of freedom and liberation into our life. And Neptune is also coming in on this. Um, so it is definitely something that is uh, maybe even like a thought process of a words that you're using to describe yourself um, or nothing ever works out for me and this is just how my life has always been everybody always shits on me or you know whatever you're saying that's like now manifesting this other thing and uh, why, why I'm bringing all this up is you know because when you do come from those early childhood um, vulnerable times of not being protected and not being honored and having somebody cross boundaries uh, and touching you and whatever it just changes you you know even like <laughs> this one of my awesome friends who's actually just about to I'm gonna put some new um, she's starting to write more on the website so um, but anyway, we were joking around once talking about when you've been molested, you know, because when you've been molested, you go out into the world and you give it up. You know, you're just like, hey, you know, you're you're like that with it. There's no like honoring, making them wait, making them chase you, making them work to get you. You know, when you've had that thing violation already done, you go out into the world and you are ready to give it up to anybody, you know, and we were just laughing. We wanted to make like a skit about it because it it is something you can kind of laugh about eventually. <laughs> it takes a while, but it is like the, even like the characteristics that you will have when you've known this, you know? Um, it's just going to make you say, no, 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 yeah, I, I, no, 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 that's good enough. I'll take less, you know? No, 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 that's fine. No, no, you take it. I don't need anything, you know? I don't need to be, da, 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 da. I don't need love. I don't need to be taken care of and all this stuff. So, um, if you want to change your life and if you had something like that in it or anything it's growing up poor and then you're still going out into the world living in scarcity anything that is keeping you from feeling fully free and liberated there's you just need to re-examine what you're saying and you need to see it in a different way you need to put love into it you need to put forgiveness into it you need to just be like you know it wasn't the end of the world. It didn't ruin me. That can't ruin me. You know, that can't take away at who I am. And I think I'm finally getting the point of why I brought all that up. Seeing this in so many people's charts, all of them then have these charts that are about helping other people who have been through this or doing a book, doing a movie, being a, a public speaker. So whatever did happen to you that did, you know, whether it was like, you know, there was a sibling that was the favorite and not you. So you were always second best. So now you've going out into the world being second best. There's something about you walking that that is um, that has to be walked to gain the wisdom for what your actual purpose is in life. So what you end up seeing is all those things that did happen that we call negative are actually kind of who we are now and and especially like who we are in the most awesome way. You know, even like, you know, growing up poor, those people have such a more um, respect for money, for things, for what material things do provide. Um, um, you know, it's kind of like having to know all the all the sides of things, but still, we're always just kind of trying to want to go to the positive perspective of 
you know, not just holding things in such a negative light that then they just sit there like a tumor and manifest all these other bad things in our life, but giving them love and saying, you know, you know, think about that too. People get cancer and every single one of them awakens to love and the magic of life and your people and honoring what you have. And they kind of say like a lot of people who get cancer were um, saying lots of negative thoughts and thinking they were a victim and you know judging all the things that happened to them and saying I'm a bad person I'm worthless I don't deserve to uh, uh, you know so it's kinda like that and then they get cancer and then they're like oh my gosh I love you you know and like appreciating everything so um, Yes, so new perspectives, uh, we're going to talk about, there's going to actually be a hot spot on the chart that will pinpoint more about where you need to maybe think about what you're needing to gain a new perspective of, what you need to get a new look at, what you need to put higher vibrating love words on instead of like negative and um, because every, th every layer is so important. You know, if your life is not in complete bliss, which I do have to tell you, especially you all that are really having it hard right now, when you do burst through this bubble into the bliss, it is a completely different world. And the object of the game is to stay in that vibration. And there's things you can do to stay in that vibration. And um, I'll talk about that, you know, over the weeks and stuff. I'm always kind of talking on that, but that's where to like know, you know, even like if, and here I go talking about it, um, but even like being thankful for everything, you know, once you do get it burst into that new perspective, that new way of seeing things, feeling like everything is so kick-ass and everything's working out and everything feels so great, um, there's a way to like keep it going, keep it going, and it's in giving feeling gratitude for everything you do have and constantly thanking it, constantly thanking people, constantly driving, you get to go through, it didn't go red, thank you, you know, everything. If you just keep on that, it just keeps coming and keep coming and keep coming and then you're just living this life that's like, it feels so amazing because everything comes right when you want and in this new world energies things are coming quickly you know they are coming a lot quicker that's why I've just been like I can't even believe like the past month I'm like and then that happened then that happened then that happened and it's like whoa I can't keep up you know so there's going to be a really big quickening to the paces of things but if you're magnetizing the negative something just needs to be changed in your brain in your way of thinking um, and that's where the focus is going to be for this full moon reading that we get to when I get to your individual signs. And um, uh, 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 two, part of this could be maybe needing to clear up communications with people too. Um, you know that one never works. Um, even if you do always come into a battle, like I'm feeling like polarization. I don't know what this is meaning, but... Um, if you are in something that's keeping you uh, from being able to move through an energy that's like Argh! with someone, like do what you can to make the peace and then let it go and uh, kind of do everything to kind of get it out of your space because that kind of stuff you can't have lingering in your life at all. You have to know I did all I could, I said my piece, um, we obviously can't come together so let's just separate, let's not have negative energies, especially do that like send them love if anybody is, like you're having something like this, like you know we can't see eye to eye but I love you and I think you're an awesome person and I know you're gonna do awesome things in life but anything to disengage any kind of friction energy or any kind of uh, there's just something about that person and just uh, you know any of that get to the root try to get to the root of why you are so triggered by somebody and then just do everything to kind of send it love, send them love, send yourself love, let it go. Like you don't need any of those kind of thoughts in your energy right now, especially with this kind of miracle manifestation that's going on right now for people that is like amazing. And what comes to you can be amazing um, if you have your thoughts on the right wavelength right now uh, of, you know, honoring who you are and knowing that you deserve amazing things to happen and knowing you are safe and you are protected and um, yeah 
so I think I'm going to leave it there with that. I didn't even know what I was really going to talk about, so it's kind of cool at least it came out. Um, so, okay. So we'll get to further um, how this is going to affect you individually. I hope I said enough. Now I'll second guess myself, um, but I think I did. Okay, so you go have a beautiful day, and I will see you on the individual readings, and then I will see you on the new moon, June 8th. Um, and I also have created a new product that goes in alignment with that, but I don't want to talk about it too much because I've only I don't have enough to make that many, <laughs> but. I'll probably talk about it on the full moon. Hopefully I'll be ready to do them more now, but I created this really special thing that you're going to really love. It's so special. It's so perfect. I can't believe I didn't think of it sooner, um, but it will be something that can really help change people's lives and help manifest more awesome things into your life because it's something that you'll be interactively engaged in with these new moon cycles. Um, so yeah. And then, oh, I, I wanted to say something else that came up when I was doing that. Um, also, oh, 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 so you know this is like the third eclipse, um, this full moon. It's not common to have three. It's common to have two. So do expect some kind of big thing falling away that once this does, the gates are open, the freedom is there, uh, you're ready to fly. So it is, this is a very important one, especially because this is the last one of this little series. So something is going to come to your awareness and you just need to get real and look closer and just see it differently. Try to see it as not such a bad thing. Try to see a way to, to label it with love and like, dude, that's kick-ass that that happened to me, you know? That's cool that I know that and I've survived that and I've risen above that and now look at me. You know, <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs>